Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Before we get started on the intro and showing you guys what this place looks like and what we're gonna be doing for today's episode, I want you to look at the Shoshone River from an aerial view. It is absolutely incredible. So what we're going to be doing today outside just looking in the awesomeness of the Shoshone River, uh, we're actually going to be fishing below the dam on the Shoshone River. There's a dam right above it in the headwaters. It's called Buffalo Bill Dam. At one point in time, it used to be the largest dam in the entire world. It's actually a few hundred feet tall. Uh, I'm not sure the exact, maybe like 300 feet tall or something like that. But we're going to see how close we can get to it. We might not be able to go right below just because the access might be shut off or something like that. So we are currently about 300 no, we're about a half mile below the dam right now. We're just going to work our way up as far as far up as we possibly can go. We might not be able to go right below it, but we're going to see what we can do. I don't think a lot of people fish up here, and that's the reason why we want to try it out. It's something that I haven't fished yet. Um, and so I want to try to go to new waters that people haven't fished. And maybe there might not be enough trout, a lot of trout up here. I don't know, but we're going to give it a shot. But the first things first, we got to crawl. We got to hike down this little hill first right here to get down to the water, which is down there. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit of a trek, pretty steep. I'm right now not in a super steep area, but it's gonna be more and more steep as we descend down. And so with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy today's episode of Fishing Below a Dam. It all looks really good. About halfway. You guys might be able to see that dam. Right in the middle right now, that's the Buffalo Bill Reservoir Dam. And I'm just going to be walking right along this point and fishing that section for the first time. This is going to be so much fun. I can tell you right now, I'm pretty stoked. The uh, water's going to be pretty loud, so it might not be bad. What I'm first going to start off with is a, uh, I have a red midge. That last time was working really well for the Shoshone. I'm just going to attach a bobber. I already have the red midge tied on. They're pretty good baits. They're nice and small and compact. And the Shoshone River, they work really well for that. Again, we're just going to see if there's any trout in this hole. I'm not sure how far up these trout travel on the Shoshone River. And so that's part of our learning. I would really like to get on that shadowy side over there too. That would be a tremendously cool spot to cast. My strike indicator actually just went down. I don't really know why that was. I think I just got hooked up on something, but I'm hoping there's a trout. Oh, there's a big trout. Oh, guys, big trout, big trout. I see him, I just called, I just saw him. That was a nice fish too. That was a really nice fish. He didn't eat my, he didn't eat, go after my lure. But what he did was, I'm just gonna keep on doing that. He came up to the top of the water. That thing was probably 20 inches long. I'm not even, that's not even a joke either. That was a substantial nice fish. Substantially good sized fish. I'm gonna fish here. Oh, look at that. There he is right next to, oh my crap, that's a huge fish. Come on, come on. That is a monster trout. That, if that's a trout, 
That thing's 28 plus inches long. That's not even a joke. That's legit. He keeps on coming up, at, at, at looking at my uh, strike indicator. He's right down that, that little cove over there. He's right over there, right there. Look at that, come on, come on, Trout. Watch my strike indicator, guys. Watch my strike indicator. Okay, he doesn't want this thing. I'm gonna switch up because if that thing, he's he's at, so at the surface right now, and that's a very nice sized trout. So right now, currently, I'm just fishing this little section over here, right behind these few rocks. And I made a couple casts just to see what, just to see if there's any trout there. And you might have heard me kind of getting all excited up, I get all excited and stuff. And that's because there was a substantially big trout. I'm saying. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna stop saying it's 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 a little over 20. He did not want my red midge, and that could be the fact that it's such a small bait that maybe he doesn't want it. It's for a bigger trout. And this thing is only a quarter inch long, so it's a pretty small, it's a pretty small little lure. But what I'm gonna do, so for that trout, I'm gonna tie on something that's on top of the water. That's gonna be a little caddis. I believe this is caddis fly that I have tied on. Y'all will have to double check me here. This little guy right here. But right in there, there's a very nice sized trout. We're gonna see if we can get him on this little caddis. I have no idea if it's gonna work or not, but uh, we'll see. Okay, what did I see? Just stay nice and calm, Wyatt. Nice and calm. Please stay nice and calm. That trout, I'm telling you guys, that thing is very, very, Okay, he's going to the fly. He's going to the fly. He's on the top of the water. Look, he's at the strike indicator right now. This might be our last option. This hole right here because up uh we got like one more hole here left. Um, this might actually be unfortunately our last option. Right above that is the difference. This is gonna be our last spot, but I hope I hope we can catch it. it. It looks good. I mean it looks really really good, but I don't know if there's any trout there. Because it I haven't seen any jump A and I haven't seen it oh, many come to the top of the water. Like I did over there, I had a couple come to the top of the water. That was about it, but uh, I, I hope I hope one or two are at the top of the water. Okay, push us on. There we go. That's a better cast. That's a good cast. Better one at least. But like again guys, I don't know if there's any fish in here. <laughs> That's the thing. It's cause there's nothing I can go by, you know? I don't see any fish cruising or anything. So it's a little tough. Ah, oh, please be a fish in here. Looks so good. Oh. Try that little pocket right there. And like right below this rock. I just don't think there's a lot of fish up here. That's okay though. We're gonna see if we can catch one later today though, for sure. Hey, 
hate to do this to you, but I think we've reached ourselves, have ourselves a little bit of a dead end. A little bit of a situation here. <laughs> I was fishing down here, right? I was just trying to figure out some more spots to fish. Down there, the fishing isn't very, very good. I don't know if there's like a, a lot of trout down here or what, what the deal is, um, but I just happened to look up and I saw this sign. So what that pretty much means is, unfortunately our trip close to the dam is over. I'll show you what the dam looks like. It's actually pretty, really cool. Um, it's, I don't know, it's a few hundred feet tall. And quite frankly, I think the fishing, there's some trout in here. I think there's a couple trout, sorry about the glare there. I think there's a couple trout down here. But the thing is, they're so, there's, the population's so minimal. I do believe they stock a bunch right below that dam. In previous episodes, if you guys have watched episodes of me before, there's a lot of fish right next to that bridge. I mean, a lot, probably a few hundred. Way more than there are down here. But the thing about this section, it was kind of new to me, kind of secluded, kind of different, right? And that was the whole point of coming up here. But I'm not going to just end the video right here. I'm actually gonna go back down, lower downstream, back where we first saw that biggest trout. And I'll hope that we can catch one. The reason why I'm doing that is because sometimes it's nice to catch a little trout in a video. But let me go ahead and show you guys what that dam looks like and what the area looks like here so you have an idea what I'm talking about. It's a phenomenal area. It's a beautiful, beautiful area. But unfortunately, I'm using lower, I'm using flies that can catch fish. I, I know that for a fact. I've caught many fat, many trout in this river with the flies that I'm using. But for some reason, the population isn't isn't where I want it to be. Which you know, you learn you you learn your lesson. Sometimes you get unfortunate unfortunate situations. But let me show you what the dam looks like, and we're gonna go back downstream after some more fish here for. So I just came down over that, that, that little hill, and just as I was talking about, hey, let's go ahead and fish in that location where I had those trout earlier this morning. I just happened to look down, and I see two more, three more maybe, trout that are different color than the last one I saw. The last one I saw was like darker brown. These ones are all three light brown. I'll show you a video of one or two of them. Look into the shade, in the shade of right along the edge of the cliff. The reason why they're there is cool, it's cooler water. I believe that's why they're there. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna cast upstream with a little top water because they're at the surface and see if see if that dry fly, like a you know, whatever it might be, it just drifts and falls right into their, their spot. And I, I think we might be able to catch one. I mean since since those trout were pretty aggressive earlier, I'm taking this little midge right here and I'm gonna change it to a little grasshopper or a smaller dry fly. Something that they can see a little bit more that's at the top of the water because they're they're pretty close to the top of the water. Like you guys saw, they're only a couple feet below, like a foot or below at least, maybe maybe a little less. Um, so I'm thinking something like this. A parachute hopper, something that looks pretty good, you know? We'll try this one out first, right here. I don't know if I can make the cast over there, that's a far cast. Really far cast, but I'm trying. We're gonna try. And I can't sneak over there either. It's not like an area where I could sneak over to either. You know? Those trout are kind of in, the, in a location that's hard for you, to, hard to get to. Oh, there's a trout right there. Okay, we're see. That's going right over top of this trout, right over top of the trout. Come on. I cannot believe he didn't want that thing. Man, that, that impresses me. Hey guys, welcome back here. This is actually three days later from the last clip you had seen from up on the river uh, farther, farther west, I would believe it is. Uh, but we came back down because I had to quit earlier last week. I couldn't quite film the whole, the whole ordeal, whole video in one day. So this is actually a part two, second video, uh, just of a clip of some fish catching. 
of a new area like that last last time it was at a new area this time is going to be another at, at a new area uh, i believe there's some fish right down right behind those rocks down there so that's where we're going to go down that's a nice little eddy nice deep pool for them to chill at we're going to see if we can catch a fish for you and then we'll uh end it on that note but we're going to be right down there in a few few moments we just have to sort of traverse down this little uh <laughs> i guess semi-steep little hill here fish right down right behind those rocks down there so that's where we're going to go down that's a nice little eddy nice deep pool for them to chill at we're going to see if we can catch a fish for you and then we'll uh end it on that note but we're going to be right down there in a few few moments we just have to sort of traverse down this little uh sh <coughs> and your fly it's like perfect speed for fly fishing too not too fast It's a beautiful day out here today. It's a little windy, some locations, but other than that, it's gorgeous. There's one right there. Look at that fish. Told you guys. Phenomenal location. Boy, it's a nice fish. That is a nice fish too. That's a beautiful fish. Absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful. There he goes. There you have it, guys. It definitely wasn't, um, well, there you have it guys it definitely was not the kind of video that i expected i didn't know how well it was going to go but um sure enough we did see some trout up way up at the, below the below the dam now we weren't able to catch them but luckily we we're able to catch a fit, fish for you guys on film nothing special just having fun down in the shoshone river trying to put some challenges to ourselves here and um but yeah if you guys enjoyed today's episode of inland pursuit please be sure to subscribe you can also follow me on instagram my link is down below i have a lot of more other special features uh more special clips behind the scene type stuff there just as well as i do on youtube until then guys keep dreaming keep living out your dreams keep pursuing the things you love now see